Hello everyone, welcome to How to Become a Pet Whisperer. Today I would like to talk to you about a very special subject. Is it possible that animals have magical powers? Well, we all know that they are very loving and joyful and they need and would like to play with us all the time. So they bring happiness in our life. That's kind of a magical power. But what if, what if they could do something more that could be amazing? We all heard about those dogs that can detect cancer or those other dogs <laughs> that can find people that are missing and some little kitty that helps to clean the house from negative energy. Well, that's one of the kind of special gift that I want to talk to you about because I really feel that animals can heal us not only when we're sad and we're not feeling great but also being there for us to change the energy in us and around us so what if I tell you that some cats have the powers to either clean the house of negative energy or protect the house when they go outside against intruders. You can see that sometimes. People come to your place and your dog, your cat, any of your animal don't like them. So maybe there's a reason. Is that only because they're bad people? Not necessarily, but Maybe you don't belong with them or they're not the good fit with, for you and your animal is trying to tell you that. Or on the contrary, they have special needs and your animal can feel that and he or she believes that they're taking your energy and it's not good for you to be around them because it's taking too much of what you can give them. I can see animals doing amazing things. When I used to give messages to people in need, one of my cats will jump on the table and just be there, help in any way possible. But I could also see that it was taking a lot of out of her because she was a lady. <laughs> and she was so loving that um, our kidney were drained somehow because she wanted to help so I decided at one point that it would be better for her to just come inside the room after I'm done to clean the place and it worked out but I could always see that all my animals because I'm a healer they wanted to share the energy that, that I was giving to others so they would help any way they could at one time, I remember one of my friends had a little kitty that was very sick and she asked me to get in touch with her and try to find out what was happening because the vet couldn't understand. And I turned to one of my little kitty, uh, which was named Magic. You know what it means, right? <laughs> I knew that she had powers. So I would ask her, can you get in touch with the little kitty and look what's happening, you know? Well, she went on the sofa and she tried to, how can I say that? Like send some kind of energy. She would do like this on one of the cushion and I could feel that she was doing that for the little kitty over there I could see her doing that in the energy I know it can it's kind of strange but if you go a little bit deeper we're all connected we're all one so it's the same thing with animals my dog used to be very scared of some huge big well different how can I say that it was kind of a wolf dog, not a real dog, you know, it was more wolf than dog until I started to tell her that they were cousin. Yeah, they might be very 
uh, aggressive to people, but it's just because nobody showed them that they could do something else or be something else. And she started to react differently with them because I would send them the energy of what a dog is and what's the difference between a dog and a wolf. And she would get that. So she started to approach them. And after a while, she calmed down and they would too. And they became friends, even to a point that they could play with each other at one point. So it's the same thing with every animals that you have in your house. If you are talking to them and telling them what's happening in their life and the life of others, maybe they can help if you allow that. Like, for example, when you're very sad and you need the love of your cat and you're asking, please come so I can pet you, they won't come. Why? Because they know that what you need is not cuddling is to go inside and to feel what you're feeling and to grieve what you need to grieve. So they will still be further apart, but they will send you the energy that you need to go deep inside of yourself if you allow that. The magical powers of, anim of all the animals are infinite. It's something that we need to uncover. As long as we accept that it exists, you will see amazing things, not only with you, but with the people around you, with the other animals in your house, or even animals on, on the street. My little puppy is only seven months, and she's always very gentle with the puppy and the dogs that she's meeting. But in particularity, um, I could say that she has this connection with one of the dog around here that is deaf. And she's always very gentle, very smooth around her and tried not to trigger um, her to be anxious. So it's kind of a magic power and there's a lot to discover. If you'd like to know more about that, maybe you can join us in one of our class so we can go deeper and explore all the possibility and what are the gifts that the animal that are in your life can bring to you and to others around you. That's what I believe and that's what I wish for, for all of you. Have a good day. See you soon.